Hey, what's up you guys? It's Alana. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today. If you're new here, welcome. We are in the back of my passion planner today, making an end of summer spooky cute spread. This is going to be for journaling, for memory keeping. Um, I am already super stoked for fall, as you probably know <laughs> already by the content of my channel and my Instagram. Um, but I'm going to ease into it in my planners and in life. And I love end of summer spooky vibes. So heading into the fall, still giving summer her moment, um, but doing things like making s'mores dip and reading scary stories to tell in the dark and watching movies that aren't necessarily fall and Halloween, but have those spooky vibes. So I thought it'd be really fun to make a cute back of the planner journaling spread for that, for planning for that, for documenting that. And I'm really excited about it. It's not going to be overwhelmingly Halloween. It's going to have a little bit of in between. I intend to heavily include some amazing washi tape, washi stickers, washi, like all the good stuff from the washi tape shop in this spread because you guys, I've been hoarding it, hanging onto it, and I'm so excited. I think I have a really fun idea for how to piece this all together, heavily using washi tape and PET tape. Um, I have a bunch of really cute ones that they sent to me, this lace PET tape being my absolute favorite which they are having a back to school sale right now. Awesome stuff. They always have new, really cool stuff in and they're having a great sale. I always have them linked for you down in the description so you can find them there if you wanna check out any of the stuff that I use today or their new release stuff. So I wanna start over on this page with a like circle-ish decorative situation over here. I wanna make a layer. I wanna start with some of these florals, which that was a really weird way to say that. Florals? <laughs> I was saying, my mouth was saying florals, my brain was saying flowers, so it came out really weird. Um, I want to start with some of these because they're not quite entirely fall, but they're not quite bright summer either. I love that there's some orange and some like butter yellow in here. I think it's really, really pretty. So I want to make a layer of some of these florals <laughs> with some of this um, celestial like golden zodiac star washi tape and then put some printed canva pictures on the top of it in a little cluster you'll see we're gonna get started with the flowers first also you guys to go along with this i am going to have a uh like mini vlog hopefully up on my channel by this weekend of an actual end of summer spooky day with me. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do for my family, my kiddos, for a spooky end of summer. The dinner that I'm going to make, the dessert that I'm going to make, the movie that we're going to watch, and this is going to end up being documented on this spread. So if you want to see that video, make sure you stick around, hang out on my channel with me. I think it's going to be fun. If you love to roll out of summer and into fall, uh, a bit early like I do it's a really fun way to kick it off I think I'm going to do two more one here and one here of these florals and then um, try to fill them in somehow with the stars okay my florals are done and I was going to cut out little bits of the gold leafing and stars but I think what I need to do is put down my little printed Polaroid images first and then see where I can get stuff in and around them um no nope how cute are these though, you guys? Little little ghosties with the sunglasses that felt very um, summer ween to me. <laughs> oh, I think we gotta go like that. I love that. Watch me totally forget how I have this laid out. Um, I should have put glue on them first and then not pressed them down. Oh, but do I want the ghosts across from each other? I think I do. I think, 
I guess I'll start with this one, the pumpkin one up at the top. I mean, I like it. I think that's good. I think that's really cute. Now to figure out how to do my little stars. Just very, very tediously, it would seem. I'm just cutting out each little piece bit by bit and sticking them around. I really like that, you guys. I don't think I want to overdo it by putting too much of the stars and leaves. I love it just like that. Now I'm going to do something that kind of scares me. I <laughs> grabbed my Tombow Fudinoski pen. It's a brush pen. And I kind of want to go out around it with black polka dots, you guys. Um, I realize that it's off center. It's squished over. But I'm going to do it anyway, I think. <laughs> there's no going back from this. There's no, there's no going back from this. Um... What do we think? Should I make them like more, more perfectly round or imperfect? I'm already here, y'all. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I should have made them perfectly round. Well, not, you know, I mean, I can't do a perfectly round, but I can fix the other ones at least. It's not so bad, is it? I don't think so. I think I kind of like it. Yeah, let me fix the other ones. Well, if you can see, yeah, I'm going to fix those. I kind of like it. I, I don't know. I think that's really pretty. I think it's cute. And I think it's not too overwhelmingly fall or Halloween. There's ghosts. Okay, there's a witch's hat. But still. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave this. This, I guess, is going to be like a title page. When I come into journal and like memory keep in here, I'm probably going to put like summer scaries or summer spooky or maybe summer ween. I don't know, but I'm going to do some sort of title, summer swooping this way and then something written across the bottom here. I, I know I should do it right now, but I need to get up the gumption to do that. Like, it's a lot of nerve <laughs> and I can't just hand letter on the spot, but we're going to decorate this page next. And you guys, okay, this lace PET tape is absolutely freaking gorgeous. I'm trying to decide. I think because we are doing a like summer ween spread, I think I'm going to not do the black and go with a brown or a green, but I need you guys to see how gorgeous this is. They're so beautiful. There's um, black, brown, green, white, and a sort of like pink color. And they're all different pattern, you guys. They're gorgeous. But I think for this spread, I'm going to go with the brown. And you'll see. You'll see what my, my plan is for it. But I do want to have it not so bold and dark. We're going to save that for actual Halloween. Uh, okay, you know I'm not going to wait until Halloween to make Halloween spreads, but <laughs> a little bit closer. I'm going to go across. Do I want to go all the way? I might go all the way. I was going to I was gonna do it just on this side because I'm doing two completely different spreads here, you guys. Two totally different themes. Um, we'll see. We're going to start like this. And I can always come back and go across if I want to because it pulls up so nicely. Super pretty, right? Okay, so I am going to take this sticker strip of washi stickers. This is from the Metro and Meadow set. Absolutely freaking gorgeous, you guys. I love the colors, the, the warm tones on these buildings. They're very summerween. Um... So I'm going to use the buildings and, okay, I am going to sneak in a couple of jack-o'-lanterns, but it won't be too much, I promise. But I'm going to put these over here on the lace background. 
how pretty are these colors though you guys so i'm gonna have some up and some down that might be kind of strange i don't know we'll see i think it's gonna look really cute i really like that i really like that okay and then on the other set that come or i guess the other roll that comes with the metro and meadow there is a scarecrow you guys on the farm set or i guess the barn set whatever you want to call it really freaking cute um i've used like four of these already so that's why i have to pull for a while to be able to get to it um but i have to include this guy um where should we put him over here i guess okay uh, he's huge compared to the buildings he's huge he's a giant inflatable scarecrow we're not going for scale here we're going for cuteness i keep getting him crooked I love it. I love it. Okay, I went ahead and added in another building. I'm going to put this little sign set right here. And then I am going to grab a sticker strip of jack-o'-lanterns. And I'm going to cut out these little teeny tiny guys and put them around the bottom here. You guys, how cute is that? how cute oh my gosh okay so to finish it up we need some boxes for me to journal in i'm gonna do some scratchy boxes up here and we may add a few more little details but i think this is pretty close to calling it good i don't normally do my scratchy boxes on blank paper i usually have dot grid or some sort of line to follow so this makes me kind of nervous um but here we go oh i didn't decide i think i'm gonna leave the lace off i think i like this page just like it is so i think i'm gonna leave it might do some across the top i don't know but let's get through the boxes first if you don't see this video i ruined the whole thing <laughs> okay do i want to do my skippy boxes or scratchy boxes entirely i guess we'll just see how it turns out Um, what if we do scratchy skippy boxes? Is that a thing? It is now. Okay. There's one. Whew. All right, let's take that Tombow pen and do... Like this and um how's this good I don't know no idea sure you guys I'm so not happy at all with how these are coming together um, I really need those lines or dot grid because I have such a bad astigmatism. I cannot do anything in a straight line. Um, I guess this is how it's going to be though. Yeah. I'm going to try something real quick. Mm, I don't think I like it. I was trying to have this match this by having a background of flowers, but I don't think it's my thing. I think I'm going to pull it up. That's okay. I'll still find a way to fix it. I think I'm just going to leave it, you guys. Thank goodness the washi tape shop washi peels right up easily without ruining my page. Um, I just made the scratchy boxes even more scratchy, and I'm just going to leave it like this. I grabbed a few more clouds and some jack-o'-lanterns, and I think once it's written in, it will all pull together very nicely. I still love it so, so much. I think it's super cute. Um, I just feel, I mean, this, of course, is open up here for me to journal in. I just need to keep that in mind. Also, just keep in mind that nobody's perfect. You're not going to get it perfect every single time. I still love it. It's going to be so much fun to write in this. Again, make sure you come back, hang out with me here because I am going to have a mini vlog up sharing our 
spooky night summer ween with you guys but y'all thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one that is all for this one check out the washi tape shop link down in the description so you don't miss out on that sale it's ending in just a couple days um i'll see you in my next one tell your dog i said hi bye guys